Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we are covering an exciting topic. We will create a Streamlit app that helps us get insights from a SQL database using natural language. We will use Llama 3, an open source large language model running locally. This means our AI runs locally and our data remains within our network. We will use Olama to host the LLM locally. Therefore, Olama is a prerequisite. You can watch the first two videos in the series to set up Olama and open web UI. Links for these are in the description below. We will use the Langchain wrapper to interact with Olama based models as well as the SQL database. A few housekeeping items. We will use Postgres as our database. It has the following database schema. We have developed this database using dbt. If you want to set this up, you can watch the dbt series. Otherwise, you can follow the Postgres installation video and restore the sample database. And you can use the sample database in your case. We'll use a custom model that generates SQL based on the user input. So we'll go ahead and create this custom model first. For this, we'll use Open Web UI. Under Model Files, we'll create a new file. We provide a name and a description for this model. The content has the definition of this model. I'll pull the content out so we can review it. So this is the content definition. We base this model from Llama 3 and set the temperature to zero. In the system message, we provide the instruction. For example, the model's job is to generate SQL for Postgres and it should incorporate the database schema and relationship to generate SQL. We provide the database schema under this heading. In addition, we provide basic guidelines on how to structure query. The output of this model should be SQL. So we only care about the SQL query. Therefore, we tell the model that it should ignore the formatting. I'll paste in the database schema and this is the content of the custom model. Don't worry, it'll be available in GitHub, so you don't need to copy it. We provide a prompt suggestion and select a few relevant categories. Once we save this model file, it becomes available as a model in Olama ecosystem. Now we'll create a Langchain chain that will allow us to chat with the database using natural language. Here's a brief overview of the Langchain framework. Langchain is an open source framework for building applications based on large language models or LLMs. Let's say we want to use a LLM to interpret user queries and use another LLM to generate responses to those queries. Using Langchain, we can accomplish this task. We integrate the LLM with our internal data source and using chains, generate responses. A chain is a series of automated actions from user's query to the model's output. For example, developer can use a chain to connect to different data sources, generate unique content, and answer user's queries. We'll use the Langchain package to create both chains. In order to code the solution, we need Langchain, Langchain Community, Streamlit, and PsychoPG2 installed in our environment. We import the required libraries in our solution. In order to establish a database connection, we save the database credentials and other details in local variables. We create a function to establish the database connection. This uses the Langchain SQL database wrapper. We use the custom LLM to generate the SQL based on the user's input. And we provide the user input to this function. Using Olama, we access the custom model. We create a prompt template that takes the user's question as an input. We create a chain using the prompt and LLM. The output parser auto formats the response of LLM. We invoke the chain, parse the generated SQL, and return it. This is the first step. This produces the SQL query based on the user's query. Now we will create the full chain that will allow us to analyze the database using natural language. We create a new function that takes user input, 
database, and chat history as inputs. We invoke the first function to get the SQL query. We create a prompt template that includes the chat history, user input, and the response. We use Llama 3 for the user interaction, and we access it using chat Llama. We pass the SQL query, prompt, and LLM to a runnable. A runnable pass-through takes the input and passes it through. When called with assign, it will take the input and it will add the extra arguments passed to the assign function. In this scenario, we are adding the result of the SQL query. We execute the SQL query and add the result as the extra argument. Finally, we invoke this chain and return the outcome. So this completes the full chain and it will allow us to interact with our database. Now we come to the Streamlit components. We create a session to store the chat history and create a page title. Then we store the user and the AI chat to the chat history. On the app launch, we establish a database session so it is available to the chains. We grab the user input and if it's not already in the chat history, we append to it and display it on the page. For the AI response, we invoke the function with the chain and the input parameters. We display the LLM's response back to the user once available. So this is our app that allows users to interact with Postgres database using natural language. Let's go ahead and give it a test run. We'll ask it a series of questions to make sure it provides answers based on our data. We'll start with a basic question. What is the total sales? It should be able to summarize the sales amount column from sales. In order to interact with the model, the user does need some basic familiarity with the schema. Anyways, our app has generated an answer. The number looks correct. You can query the database to validate the answer. Let's ask our next question. What are the top 10 products by sales? This is slightly complex as the model needs to join multiple tables in order to answer this question. It should join the sales and product tables to get the product name and the sales amount. Also, it needs to group the sales by product and then sort the product by sales. It was able to perform these steps and provided us the sales by product data. Let's get the sales by country now. So we'll say show me the sales by country. It should perform similar steps as it did in the previous question, but this time around we go against a different table. So here are the sales figure by countries. I think so far it's doing a good job. This lang chain and uh, LLM integration opens up a whole lot of new avenues to analyze your data. For example, we can develop a concentrated schema for a department and users can acquire their answers using natural language. This solution can handle basic to medium complexity questions. It can aid and enhance your existing BI solutions. This is all for now. I hope you enjoyed the session.